one. They improved to 500. Matt Nagy, was he happy to beat his old team? You make the call. Yo, what's good? Stuart Scott coming at you once again for another post-pounding, mind-dizzing, spine-tingling season of Stump the Schwab. As always, I'm in the research room, the epicenter of ESPN Intelligentsia. Yo, we're busting through the gates for season four with an army of contestants ready to lay it all on the line against the man who reigns over the almanacs, the microfilm, and... Oh, any other old thing we got up in here. <laughs> the ruler of the research room, a literal sports trivia know-it-all, the Schwab. Give it up for the Schwab. <laughs> Schwab, a little bird, I'm just saying, I heard that during the off-season you wanted to keep your statistical wheel spinning, so you basically counted everything in sight. Is that true? Well, almost. Everything but the calories. Oh, yeah. You, <laughs> man, don't put on some LBs up on there. All right. That sounds like trouble for our contestants. Let's meet him and see who is up to the challenge. First up, this recent Penn State grad says he'll be a great contestant because he's a friendly person. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Give it up for Mr. Nice Guy, Dave Schmidt. <laughs> he is a mutual fund analyst who has performed stand-up comedy. He just flew in from Chicago, and boy, are his arms tired. <laughs> Ha! Ah, ah, yuck it up for Jeff Rappaport. And our last guy is from Peabody, Mass. He's a portfolio accountant who loves to go surfing all over. All over, huh? Massachusetts and New Hampshire? Whatever, show some love to Mike Lambert. Jeff, 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 uh, I heard that you actually played Stump the Schwab at your bachelor party? Yeah, it's a true story. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we're talking, <laughs> we're talking no strippers, no pole dancing, no cigars, just no, Stump, uh, the, Stump Schwab. the Schwab. kicked out the festivities, then we worked our way up to the pole dancing, right, the strippers, right. and all the so other So is it, who, who played the Schwab? I played the Schwab. You were Schwab? I was a Schwab. Stand up for a second, I just want to see. Stand up. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. You got to pack on tell? a couple more, man. You got to. You got to pack on a couple more here, but a lot more oh, up yeah. here if you want to be the Schwab. That's all I'm saying. All right. Listen closely, guys, because I'm going to run down the coin that you will be playing for this year. If you make it to the Schwab Showdown, you get a thousand dollars. If you stump the Schwab in the Schwab Showdown, another thousand in your pocket. If you stump the big man in the semifinals, we'll cut you a check for five G's. And in the finals, we're talking a growing jackpot. Each time the Schwab wins, the unclaimed cash gets added to the pile of loot that you can rake in on championship show night. So let's get all crunked up. Our first game is called Leading Off, and here's how you play. We'll give you questions that have multiple answers. One by one, our contestants and the Schwab will give an answer. Each correct response is worth one point. If you are wrong, you're out for the rest of that question. At the end of leading off the contestant with the lowest score, you're out, gone, removed from this research room forever. All right, let's get it started with leading off. Okay, Mike, we're going to start with you. Name the, name the teams that reached the Sweet 16 in the 2006 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. We'll go, oh man, Michigan State, which is wrong. Ah, oh, <laughs> Well, you're right that it's wrong. Yeah. But you're wrong. Uh, so you're out for this round. Jeff. Florida. Correct. Dave. Villanova. Correct. Schwab. George Mason. Correct. Jeff. LSU. Correct. Dave. Duke. Correct. Schwab. UCLA. Correct. Memphis. Jeff. Memphis. Correct. Dave. Gonzaga. Correct. Schwab. Connecticut. Correct. Jeff. Bradley. Correct. Dave. Wichita State. Correct. Schwab. Texas. Correct. Jeff. Georgetown. Correct. Dave. Washington. Correct. Schwab. West Virginia. Correct. 
Jeff. Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State is incorrect. You're out for this round. Dave, one left. Bradley. Bradley has already been said. You're out for this round. Schwab. I got it. The team that uh, Villanova beat in the round of 16, great game, but Boston College. Boston College is correct. A, no more answers left in that card. <laughs> Mike, That's there's still a chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still a chance. Let's take a look at the scores. Schwab has six. Mike has, well, me and Mike are tied. Look we'll at it nice. that way. Jeff and Dave are tied with five. The next topic in leading off. Jeff, we're going to start with you. Between 2000 and 2005, including those years, 20 Major League Baseball players stole at least 40 bases in a season. Name them. One year. Correct. Dave. Jose Reyes. Correct. Schwab. Jimmy Rollins. Correct. Mike. Kyle Crawford. Carl Crawford. Correct. Jeff. Scott Pesednik. Correct. Dave. Alfonso Soriano. Correct. Schwab. Ichiro Suzuki. Correct. Mike. Sean Figgins. Correct. Jeff. Brian Hunter. Incorrect. Out for this round. Dave. Kenny Lofton. Incorrect. Out for this round. Schwab. Johnny Damon. Correct. Mike. Garrett Anderson. Incorrect. Out for this round. Rafael Fercal. Guys! Rafael Fercal is correct. Bobby Abreu, Carlos Beltran, Luis Castillo. Castillo, yep. Let's take a look at the scores. Schwab has 10. Mike has 2. Jeff and Dave have 7. This is the last leading off. And Dave, we're going to start with you. Entering the 2006 season, 23 NFL quarterbacks have thrown at least 200 career interceptions. Name them. Brett Favre. I think he had 200 last season. I'm not sure. <laughs> Correct. Wow, that was cold. Uh, Dan Marino. Correct. Mike. Steve DeBerg. Correct. Jeff. Fran Tarkenton. Correct. Dave. Dave Craig. Incorrect. Out for this round. Schwab. Warren Moon. Correct. Mike. Chris Chandler. Incorrect. Out for this round. Jeff. Dan Feltz. Correct. Schwab. Sonny Jurgensen. Incorrect. Schwab is out for this round. Jeff, can you give us one more? Joe Montana. That's not it. <laughs> All right. There are some names. Joe Namath. Norm Sneed, Ken Stabler, Johnny Unitas. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Schwab has 12, Mike has 3, Jeff has 9, and Dave has 8. Well, as Schwab can tell you, when he gets on the scale, the numbers don't lie. Mike, it means that you're out of the running. But you're not going to go home empty-handed. We packed a brown bag lunch for the trip home. Hope you <laughs> like bologna sandwiches. <laughs> and then there were two, Jeff and Dave. Only one of y'all can face off against the master of data and donuts in the showdown. Who's it going to be? We'll find out right after this. Stick around. ESPN Classics, Texas Hold'em Billiards Marathon, Sunday at 2 Eastern. My idea of a symphony? Eight pistons playing the tune my right foot tells them to. Valvoline, 100 years under the hood. Wait, DQ put the cone in the soft serve? Yet they can't give me a face. Oh, the irony. The new Caramel Waffle Crisp Blizzard Treat at Dairy Queen. With crunchy waffle cone pieces, caramel, and chocolate chunks. Do one. What can you get for a buck? Can't get gas for a buck. Can't get a loaf of bread for a buck. You can't even get a cup of coffee for a buck. But you can get million dollar abs for a buck. Because now, one dollar lets you try the Ab Lounge XL system. Discover the secret to million dollar abs for just a buck. 
With over 4 million sold, Ab Lounge is the new gold standard in abdominal exercise. And now the Ab Lounge XL million dollar abs are just a buck away. This deal is absolutely insane because now you can try the complete Ab Lounge XL system for a full 30 days with free shipping and handling on delivery. Not for the usual $14.95, but for just $1. Back breaking crunches are obsolete. Ab Lounge XL's jackknife motion gets you up off the floor, stretching beyond 180 degrees for ultimate results. Every move counts as you target your abs without wasted effort. Our $1 deal is absolutely real, and so are these million-dollar results. The results indicate that you're going to get a tremendous uh, abdominal workout, both for the upper and lower abs, as well as the obliques using the ab lounge. When people ask me if the ab lounge works, I tell them it's amazing. It got rid of my pot belly. If it can do that, it can do anything. Ab Lounge XL is built with a rolled steel frame, features breathable mesh, custom foot pedals, cushioned ISO grips, and focus strap, and stores just about anywhere. Each Ab Lounge XL system includes an ab blasting DVD, healthy eating guide, two week jumpstart program, and aerobic workout. Call now to try the Ab Lounge XL for 30 days for just $1. We'll even pick up the shipping and handling. We know you'll love it, but if for some reason you don't, simply call within the trial period. Send the system back and you'll have no additional payments. Best of all, if you return the Ab Lounge XL because it's not for you, we'll even refund your dollar. Call for details. So what can you get for a buck? You can get this greasy hamburger for a buck. Or you can discover the secret to million dollar abs. Spurs, Jazz, with their backs against the wall, Utah rose to the occasion by dominating Game 3. Now the playoff-tested Spurs look to bounce back. Western Conference Finals, Game 4 tips tonight, 9 Eastern on ESPN. ESPN Classic is opening up the boxing vault. Now with rarely seen fights, featuring some of the biggest names in boxing. Classic Night at the Fights, 8 p.m. weeknights, only on ESPN Classic. Welcome back to the research room. We're with Dave Jeff and the man who once recited the birth dates of each member of the 87 Boston Celtics in just 19 seconds while also devouring a meatball hero, the Schwab. Definitely devouring a meatball hero. And definitely impressive. Jeff, yes. done some stand up comedy, huh? Yeah, I did on a dare. Really? Be funny, quickly. No, I can't. Yeah, I did on a dare. Funny, funny work quick, out. quick. I dare you to be funny. I'm going to beat you, Schwab. Okay. <laughs> You're right. That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Schwab will be here all night. All right, now, we all have those Try the moments. Veils. All have those moments in our lives, you know, you never forget where you were when they happened. You know the kind, right? Schwabby, like, if I ask you what year did the Twins beat the Braves to win the World Series, you would say... 1991, piece of cake. Yeah, exactly. All right, still, no surprise you knew that. And gentlemen, now it is your turn to prove your memories can rival the Schwabs. We call this game Remember When, and here's how you play. We'll give you an event from the world of sports, and you tell us the year that it took place. Now, contestants will alternate receiving questions. You each start with 100 points. For every year that you are off, you lose a point. If you guess the exact year, we're going to add one point back to your score. Now, on the last question, it's called the ultimate year. For every year you're off, you're going to lose two points. But again, if you guess the exact year on the ultimate year question, we're going to add two points back to your score. All right, let's do this and play Remember when. Dave, we're going to start with you. Soccer star Mia Hamm is born. 1970. 1970. Two years off. She was born in 1972. So you have 98 points. All right, Jeff. Vince Carter attends his college graduation the morning before playing in game seven of the Eastern Conference semifinals. 2001. That is it exactly, on the nose. <laughs> you have 101 points, we give you the one point, we continue. Dave, Tom Osborne announces his resignation from the head coaching job at Nebraska. 1995. 1995, again, two years off, it was 97. We deduct two points. You now have 96 points. Jeff, your question, you lead 101 to 96. Jeff, baseball legend Roberto Clemente dies in a plane crash. 1973. 1973, one year off. It was 1972. 
We subtract one point and you're still at 100 points. All right, Dave, your question. David Robinson finishes his junior year as the NCAA Division I season rebounding leader while at Navy. 1986. 1980 what? Six. Six, Six is correct. <laughs> One point back to your score. You have 97 points now, Dave. Jeff, your question. The NFL's St. Louis Cardinals moved to Phoenix. 1987. 1987, one year off, 1988. Jeff, you lose one point, you're down to 99, but it's a close game. Smart guys, 99 to 97. Each of them have one more question left before the ultimate year question. Dave, Gary Bettman is named the first commissioner of the NHL. 1986. 1986 is off six years. It's 1992. You drop down to 91 points. Jeff, your question. Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier battle it out in the thriller in Manila. 1975. 1975 is right on the money. Point back to your score. Jeff, you have 100. Dave, you have 91. Now, it is time for the ultimate year question. Now, Dave, because you're trailing, we're going to give you a choice in categories for the ultimate year question. You can either choose golf or auto racing. Golf. You're going to go with golf. And remember, ultimate year question, if you hit it right in the nose, you get two points back. But if you miss it, you get two points subtracted for every year that you're off. All right, Dave, here we go. Jack Nicholas wins his first U.S. amateur. 1960. 1960, not bad, it was 1959. So we take off two points, you have 89. Jeff, you're up by 11. How good is your map? Pretty good. It means if you're off by five years, you still win. Yes. If you're off by six, don't win. You don't. No. I learned that in college. <laughs> your auto racing question for the ultimate year question. Jeff, Dale Earnhardt Sr. wins NASCAR's Rookie of the Year Award. 1982. 1982 is not correct. And you want to know how far off you are, don't you? Yes. 1979 is the year. Three years off, you lose six points. It's still enough to win. The final score is 94 to 89. And Jeff, you are the winner. Dave, nice run. Sorry to say, though, but you came up short today. You're leaving, but we're going to send you home with a laminated copy of Schwab's meatloaf recipe. And it still's got, like, grease in the corner, so it's, like, authentic. <laughs> Good All stuff. Right. Yeah. <laughs> See? Jeff, you just hit your first payday, a cool thousand dollars in your pocket. And when we get back, you get a chance for another grand. That is, if you can get past that man, the Schwab. Stick and stay. The Schwab Showdown, right after this. How many hours over? How many hours <laughs> over, baby? Let's go. Wait, DQ put the cone in the soft serve? Yet they can't give me a face. Oh, the irony. The new Caramel Waffle Crisp Blizzard Treat at Dairy Queen. With crunchy waffle cone pieces, caramel, and chocolate chunks. Do one. In today's episode, we'll show you how to return a favor to the cable guy. He said he'd be here between the hours of 1 and 5. Here it is, 6.30. Where you been? Where's your cable come in? Up on the roof. As fate would have it, we're wearing the Hager Work to Weekend khakis. And with the Do It To It waistband, I can move this heavy ladder with ease and comfort. Hey, let me down. We will, sometime between the hours of 7 and 11, probably closer to 12.30. And that there is a fine example of making things right. Welcome, Davis. Can I help you, sir? I want to rock! I'll take this one. Davis gives you free music downloads on iTunes, so you can rock every time you roll. Another busy day in big banking.
Something's in my putting line. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I've got a great business plan, and as you can see, Ooh. my business has really taken I off. I think it's a small year. business Sales owner. Probably off. looking for a handout. Our fourth quarter profits. Oh, nice. Mind <laughs> uh, if we play through? Does your bank think small about your small business? Call Capital One instead for no hassle business loans, lines of credit, and credit cards. Check your mailbox. Hello, Capital One. Business plan. What's in your wallet? Nitro. Zach. Gemini, the American Gladiators, ready for battle, versus the Challengers, fighting for victory. What a competitor! Two powerful forces clash in contests of strength and agility. Oh, look at that! Only the strongest survives. The legendary American Gladiators, weeknights 7 Eastern, 10 Pacific, and weekend mornings at 9 on ESPN Classic. Here's big news on term life insurance. Matrix Direct now offers quality coverage from American General Life, one of the nation's strongest and highly rated insurance companies. American General Life will be there when you need protection most. A 40-year-old man can get a quarter of a million dollar policy for under $15 a month. Call now for your free quote. The call is free, the quote is free, and there's no obligation. Call Matrix Direct for your free quote, 1-800-353-2397. Own a timeshare? Turn it into cash. Timeshares only sold our timeshare fast and for the price we wanted. And they gave us a $1,000 shopping spree. Introducing the timeshares only $1,000 shopping spree bonus. Call now. Learn how to turn your timeshare into cash and get a $1,000 shopping spree. And we'll also send you this free information kit, including 10 secrets to timeshares. This offer is only good while supplies last, so don't delay. Call timeshares only, the most trusted name in timeshares. Call 800-630-8306. Present back in the ESPN research room, the Schwab's cockpit, if you will. And I know that he is ready to take off. Jeff, dude is in for the fight of his <laughs> sports trivia life. Now, I understand you are a trivia buff. Like, this is nothing new to you. Right. S but you were once banned from a trivia game contest in your hometown. Why? Yeah, every Thursday night, there'd be trivia at this one bar. And mm -hmm. we go there. I went seven times in a row. And finally, the guy just said, you know what? Enough's enough. We got to give some other guys a chance. And threw me out. Trivia master, and he has played this man at his bachelor party. That's right. We'll see how he does tonight. All right, you know it by now, Jeff. If you can stump the Schwab, it's a thousand more dollars in your pocket, and you keep yourself in the running for a lot more cash in our championship show. Let's get to it. The Schwab Showdown. Here's how it goes down. Four categories. Each category contains three questions worth one, two, and three points. For every incorrect answer, you get a strike. It's like baseball. Three strikes, you're out. You also have one pass. You can pass a question to your opponent and make him answer, but you only get one pass, so use it strategically. Tonight's categories are Madden about you. It's all about John Madden. Bats incredible. These are questions about doctored bats. Don't upset me. We're talking NBA playoff upsets and Davis love. Not the golfer. It's all about Davis Cup tennis. Jeff, this is your chance to stump this man and win a thousand more dollars. Because you're going to pick the questions that Schwab has to answer. Schwab will pick the questions that you have to answer. And everybody goes home happy, we hope. All right, Jeff, pick your first category for the Schwab. Let's take uh, Madden about you. For one point, Schwab, John Madden traditionally ate what unique meat medley during his Thanksgiving Day game broadcasts? Turkey. Turkey is incorrect. Correct answer is turducken. <laughs> I know about food. What the? Oh, forget it. OK. Good start. Chicken inside the duck, inside the turkey, the turducken thing and it went a boom and it, and it strike and a strike and a boom like that one strike on the board schwab pick your first category for jeff uh don't upset me one think you already are yeah for one point jeff in 1999 what team became the first number eight seed to reach the nba finals new york knicks the new york knicks is correct <laughs> jeff goes up one to nothing jeff category for schwab it's like uh, Davis Love. For one point, Schwab. The U.S. last won the Davis Cup in 1995, defeating Russia 3-2 in the finals. What American played in all three winning matches? Pete Sampras. Pete Sampras is correct. 
One to one. Category for Jeff. That's incredible one. For one point, Jeff. In 2003, umpire Tim McClellan, who was involved in the famous 1983 pine tar incident, tossed what slugger from a game for using a cork bat? Sammy Sosa? No, 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 no. Or yes, 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 yes. For one point, it is Sammy Sosa. Another point for you. Pick a category for Schwab. I'll take uh, Davis Love. For two points, Schwab. In 2004, the U.S. reached the Davis Cup Finals only to lose to Spain. Name the two Spaniards who defeated Andy Roddick in his singles matches. The year again, please, I'm sorry. In 2004, okay. the U.S. reached the Davis Cup Finals only to lose to Spain. Name the two Spaniards who defeated Andy Roddick in his singles matches. Rafael Nadal. Correct. Carlos Moya. That is correct as well. Wow. All right, category for Jeff. That's incredible, too. For two points, Jeff, in a 1974 game, what New York Yankees broken bat single was taken away when Super Bowls bounced out of his bat? Oscar Gamble. Oscar Gamble is not correct. You know the answer? I think it's Craig Nettles. It is Greg Nettles. All right, that is your first strike. One strike each. Schwab leads three to two. Category for Schwab, Jeff. Mad in about you. For two points, Schwab. In 1969, what Raiders quarterback threw for more than 3,300 yards in Madden's first year as head coach of the team? Daryl LaMonica. That is correct for two points. Schwab, you lead five to two. Category for Jeff. Madden about you three. So, with a two-point question on the board, Schwab gives a three-point question to Jeff. For three, Jeff, in the 1958 NFL Draft, what team selected Madden in the 21st round? And remember, you do have a pass. Philadelphia Eagles? That's just really, really good on your part. That's holy back card. At 5-5. Five, five. Jeff, category for Schwab. I'll give him a don't upset me. For two points, Schwab. In 1994, what team became the first number eight seed to advance to the second round of the NBA playoffs, and what team did it upset in the first round? I remember Dikembe holding the ball up. It was Denver over Seattle. That is correct. Dikembe was clutching that ball, wasn't he? Two points for Schwab. Schwab, you lead seven to five. Category for Jeff. Don't upset me, three. For three points. Jeff, name the two number one seeds defeated by the sixth seeded Rockets on Houston's way to winning the 1995 NBA championship, and you still have your pass. Orlando Magic. Correct. And the Phoenix Suns. That is incorrect. The Thank correct you, answer Lord. is the San Antonio yep. Spurs and the Orlando Magic. Oh. Were you were you debating? Vacillating yeah, between I should have known that. The Spurs and the Sun? Yeah, I knew yeah. it. I do it. Your second strike, category for Schwab. Davis Love. For three points. Schwab, what was the last country to win back-to-back -back Davis Cups in 1997 and 1998? Sweden. Or as they like to say, Sweden. Three points for Schwab. I'm lucky. I screwed this game up so badly, I am lucky. That's incredible three. Three points. Now remember, your point total, even in a loss, could get you into the semis. For three points, Jeff. During a 1994 Indians game, umpires confiscated a suspicious bat. Whose bat was it? And what pitcher retrieved it from the umpire's dressing room? It was Elbert Bell's bat. Correct. And Jason Grimsley was the pitcher. Retrieved it. Retrieved it, yes. Crawled through a, yes, a vent. <laughs> air duct vent to retrieve the bat. That is correct. You do pick up three points. But the final score. 
Schwab wins it 10 to 8. Jeff, the so effort was there, but I'm sorry to say the results, not quite. The Schwab, a true force of nature once again. Jeff, you do walk out of here with $1,000. I'll take that. But dominance never gets tiresome. You never know when an upset could be in the making. So, yo, y'all got to come back next time when three new contestants try and stump the Schwab. I'm Stuart Scott. Here's how we do it around here. Hug your hand pounds. Stuart Scott here lounging at the Knowledge Lab, ESPN's research room, where you know who the head scientist is. This guy has all the formulas down code, and when it comes to sports, he's Nobel Prize material. Ladies and gentlemen, the Schwab is in the hizzy. What up, Dr. Schwab? I'm ready. I like what you're rocking. What's the story behind that getup? Well, I have a friend in Michigan named Jim Ocho, a lawyer who happened to be close friends with Mike Lucci, the former Detroit Lion linebacker. I'm a big fan of the movie Paper Lion, and Mike Lucci was one of the prominent Lion linebackers in that movie. And uh, this is his actual game jersey he wore. He sent it to me as a favor. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it, bud. I'm going to win for you. Let's do it. Inspiration. The man who needs no inspiration now has some. Hey, once again, though, Schwab, we found three young hopefuls who think they can stump you. Let's meet them. First up, this ex-Buckeye works for the State Department of Recreational Sports, but his true passion is nonfiction writing. Say what up to Derek Noren. From New York, New York. He's the financial analyst who says he has watched every single episode of Stump the Schwab and knows he belongs. How about a hand for Jonathan Edwards? from the Illa 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 Delph. He's an attorney who says he's opinionated but lovable. We call that, you know, maybe a little bit rude but tolerable. <laughs> we'll see about that. Say hey to Phil Castagna. <laughs> Jonathan, my man, watched every episode, huh? All of them, yeah. Jonathan's watched a lot of TV. I understand one time you were on a romantic getaway with your girlfriend. <laughs> It was her birthday, Yeah. and the Red Sox were playing the Yankees, and when the Red Sox lost, you got so mad that you went to bed without talking to her? Yeah, I just, uh, just shut it down, went to bed, and then we yeah. drove on the next morning. Yeah, how's that relationship working out? Uh, that ended a long time ago. Really? <laughs> Shocker. Yeah. All right, here's what you guys are playing for. I'm talking about cash money. If you get to the Schwab Showdown, that's $1,000. If you stump the Schwab in the Schwab Showdown, that's another 1000 If you stump them in the semis, five grand more. And in the finals, we're talking about a jackpot that's growing. Each time the Schwab wins, the unclaimed cash that one of you contestants didn't win gets added to the pile of loot that you can rake in on the championship show. All right, we're going to get it rolling with our first game. It's called Leading Off, and here's how you play. We're going to give you questions that have multiple answers. One by one, our contestants and the Schwab will give an answer. Each correct response is worth one point. If you're wrong, you're out, but only out for that one question. At the end of leading off, the contestant with the lowest score, <laughs> you're out. Sorry. <laughs> Removed from the research room forever. All right, let's get it started with leading off. Phil, we're going to start with you. Our first leading off. Mike Bibby dished out 444 assists during the 2005-2006 NBA regular season. Name the 20 players who had more. In 2005-2006. Okay. Allen Iverson. Correct. Jonathan. Uh, Steve Nash. Correct. Derek. Jason Kidd. Correct. Schwab. LeBron James. Correct. Phil. Stephon Marbury. Incorrect. You're out for this one question. He plays for the Knicks. Come on. Jonathan. Jason Williams. Incorrect. You are out. Derek. Gilbert Arenas. Correct. Schwab. Chauncey Billups. Correct. Derek. Kirk Heinrich. Correct. Schwab. Brevin Knight. Correct. Derek. Derek Fisher. 
incorrect. Out for this round. Schwa. Dwayne Wade. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Mike oh, James for Toronto. Dwayne Wade. Wait a second. He, he was the MVP of the NBA Finals, right? Huh? Huh? I'm just saying. Let's take a look at the scores. Schwab has four. Phil has one. Jonathan has one. Derek has three. This is the next topic in leading off. And Jonathan, we're going to start with you. Since 1960, 17 Major League teams have lost the World Series. Name them. Boston Red Sox. Correct. Derek. New York Yankees. Correct. Schwab. New York Mets. Correct. Phil. Baltimore Orioles. Correct. Jonathan. Uh, Atlanta Braves. Correct. Derek. Philadelphia Phillies. Correct. Schwab. Houston Astros. Correct. Phil. Giants. We'll take it. Jonathan. St. Louis Cardinals. Correct. Derek. Milwaukee Brewers. Correct. Schwab. Cleveland Indians. Correct. Phil. Minnesota Twins. Correct. Jonathan. Philadelphia Phillies. Already said you're out for this round. Derek. Kansas City Royals. Correct. Schwab. Oakland A's. Correct. Phil. Cincinnati Reds. Correct. Derek. Los Angeles Dodgers. Correct. Schwab. San Diego Padres. Correct. Phil. <laughs> come on, Phil. Phil, come on. <laughs> Phil! There aren't any more! <laughs> Phil Derrick, nice job. Let's take a look at the scores. Schwab has nine. Phil has five. Jonathan has four. Derrick has eight. This is the last leading off. And Derrick, we are starting with you. The Minnesota Vikings selected Chad Greenway with the 17th pick in the first round of the 2006 NFL Draft. Name the 16 players selected before him. AJ Hawk. Correct. Schwab. Sure, he names a Buckeye. Reggie Bush. And you named the Heisman Trophy winner, correct? Matt Phil. Leinert. And you named the other Heisman Trophy winner, correct? Jonathan. Mario Williams. And you named the number one pick, correct? Derek. Derek, we need an answer. You're out for this one round. Schwab. Vince Young. Correct, Schwab. Phil. Jay Cutler. Correct. Jonathan. Michael Huff. Correct. Schwab. Broderick Bunkley. Correct. Phil. Need something, Phil. You're out for this round. Jonathan. Uh, Ernie Sims. Correct. Schwab. Vernon Davis. Who is it? Beast of a tight end. Correct. Jonathan. Antonio Cromarty. Incorrect. Out for this round. Schwab, can you hit us up with anything else? Dante Whitner, who was Ohio State. Ty Hill. Correct. Uh, Incorrect. He only gets one extra. He's now just showing off. <laughs> Let's take a look at the scores. Schwab has 14. Phil and Jonathan are tied with seven. Derek has nine. All right, Phil, Jonathan, tiebreaker time. You both have a pen and a sheet of paper on the right side of your desk. Take it out. I'm going to read a tiebreaker question. Whoever answers this question correctly or gets closest will move on to the next round. Here is your tiebreaker question. The Buffalo Bills lost four straight Super Bowls from 1991 to 94. By how many combined points did the Bills lose those games? Again, the Bills lost four straight Super Bowls. By how many combined points did the Bills lose those games? Passion and glory. Take your answers. Take your answers. Phil, you say 74. Jonathan, you say 98. The correct answer, 66. Phil, you were closest. You were going on to the next round. <laughs> Jonathan, my man, you got the lowest score, and we got to send your packing. All right, we're down to two. Phil. And Derek, who's going to get a chance to stump the Schwab? We'll find out when we roll back. Don't go anywhere. Classic Night at the Fights, 8 p.m. weeknights, only on ESPN Classic.
Wait, DQ put the cone in the soft serve? Yet they can't give me a face. Oh, the irony. The new Caramel Waffle Crisp Blizzard Treat at Dairy Queen. With crunchy waffle cone pieces, caramel, and chocolate chunks. Do one. New Fruit 2 O Relax. The only vitamin enhanced full flavored water with this relaxing ingredient. Zero calories. New Fruit 2 O Relax. I got out of the shower and I saw myself in the mirror and I thought, you look awful. I'm Mike Golick, and I lost 51 pounds with Nutrisystem. I'm Steve Berline, and I lost 22 pounds with Nutrisystem. Get real results with Nutrisystem for men, the easy weight loss program that lets you eat great and lose weight. Hey, these guys joined my team and lost weight. You can, too. Sean Salisbury, 35 pounds. Jim Stuckey, 60 pounds. Scott Conover, 100 pounds. Hey, I lost 22 pounds. Call or go online now to get four weeks of awesome food. And through this special offer, you'll automatically receive your order once every four weeks. And you can get an extra two weeks of meals free. Eat like a man and still lose weight. Beating the Russians in hockey was hard. Losing weight on Nutrisystem? That was easy. Our secret is the breakthrough science of the glycemic advantage that separates good carbs from bad. Now carbs are no longer off limits. Burgers, pizzas, lasagna, pot roast, man food. You got big taste, bold flavor, hearty meals. Real food for real men. And every perfectly portioned Nutrisystem meal is delivered right to your door and your shipping is free. No counting, no measuring. It's a no-brainer. If you want real results, the kind that gets you noticed, then you have to order Nutrisystem today. You know, my wife told me I'm not as disgusting to her as I used to be. About 10 bucks a day gets you four full weeks of rib-sticking meals. Hey, Marino, I lost 32 pounds. Order our four-week men's program now, and you can get an extra 14 breakfasts, 14 lunches, 14 dinners, and 14 desserts, a full two weeks of food absolutely free. If you can eat, you can lose the weight. Hey, if I can get back in the game, so can you. See how Nutrisystem can change your body, and you can get a full two weeks of food absolutely free. Call now to find out how. Pick up the phone and lose weight. The American Gladiators versus the Challengers. Two powerful forces clash in contests of strength and agility. The legendary American Gladiators. Weeknights, 7 Eastern, 10 Pacific, and weekend mornings at 9 on ESPN Classic. Tonight on ESPN Classic, at 8, Reggie Green squares off against Mickey Ward in a 1999 fight. At 10, who's number one counts down the most controversial? And at 11, saddle up for the Extreme Bulls Tour. It's all tonight on ESPN Classic. What the Daily, back in the research room with Derek Phil and Mr. Stats himself, the man who is a giant in his field and really just big everywhere else the schwab yo guys we are running the scoreboard back to zero the schwab's going to sit this one out but he will set us straight with the right answer in our next game correcting mistakes will give contestants a shot at a thousand dollars it's called stop the presses and here's how you play each contestant will see a piece of copy that has one single factual mistake you got to identify the mistake and correct it identifying the mistake is worth one point correcting it is worth an additional point. If either part of your answer is inaccurate, your opponent can steal. You guys got it? Let's play Stop the Presses. Derek, here is your first Stop the Presses. At a March 2005 hearing before the House Government Reform Committee on Steroids in baseball, Mark McGuire stated, I'm not going to talk about the past. Also testifying in person at the hearing were Jose Canseco, Rafael Palmero, Sammy Sosa, and David Wells. What's not correct about all that? The part about David Wells? That is correct. That it is not correct. That's one point. For another point, correct it. He wasn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Who was there? Brett Boone. Brett Boone is incorrect. Phil, you can steal the point by telling us who was there. Jason Giambi. That is not correct as well. Schwab, set up straight. Correct answer is Kurt Schilling. Ooh. All right, Derek, you picked up a point. Phil, it is your turn. This is your stop the presses. 
In Super Bowl 17, the Redskins defeated the Raiders 27 to 17 to win their first NFL title since 1942. The January 1983 game featured an impressive performance by John Riggins, who rushed for then Super Bowl record 166 yards. Something ain't right in that. What is it? The Raiders. That is correct. That it's incorrect. It was not the Raiders. You pick up a point. Now, correct it. Dolphins. That is correct. Phil picks up two points. <laughs> Phil, you lead two to one. Derek, this is your next stop the presses. After finishing the 2002-2003 season last in the Atlantic Division with a 25-57 and 57 record, the Miami Heat selected Marquette Jr. Dwayne Wade with the fourth overall pick in the 2003 NBA Draft. What's the incorrect fact? The fourth overall pick? That is correct, for one point. Now correct it. Uh, he was the fifth overall pick? He was the fifth overall pick. That is correct. You pick up two points. Derek, you lead three to two. Phil, your next stop the presses. At the 1997 Masters, 21-year-old Tiger Woods, assisted by caddy Steve Williams, shot an 18 under par 270 to win the tournament by a record 12 strokes and capture his first professional major championship. What's not correct? Steve Williams. That is correct. That Stevie's not correct. That's one point. Now, correct it. Mike Fluff Cowan. That is correct. <laughs> Men Fluff started doing commercials, and Tiger's like, yo, it's all about Tiger. And now Steve is enjoying the ride of his life. Mm. All right, Derek, this is your last stop the presses. At the 1968 Mexico City Olympics, during the medal ceremony for the 400-meter race, gold medalist Tommy Smith raised his right arm while teammate and bronze medalist John Carlos raised his left in a memorable moment in civil rights history. What's not right? The 400-meter race. That is correct that it's not right. You pick up one point. Now correct it for another. 100-meter race. That is incorrect. Phil, we're tied four to four. Can you correct it and pick up a point? 200 meter race. That is correct. <laughs> All right. Phil, you lead five to four. This is the last stop to presses, and it is yours. Now, theoretically, you can get two points here and you can trounce him, but you can also get it wrong, open up the door. He can pick up one to tie or he can pick up two to win. Okay. Big dealings going on here. Phil, in game two of the 2005 ALCS, with the score tied and two outs in the ninth, a controversial call allowed Chicago's A.J. Pierzynski to reach base. After Pablo Azuna pinch ran and stole second off Angels reliever Kelvin Escobar, Paul Konerko drove in the winning run with a hit to left. A lot of stuff. What's not right? Kelvin Escobar. Nope. Kelvin Escobar is correct. Derek, what is not correct in this? Paul Konerko? That is correct. Five to five. Last thing we got in this round. Derek, if you correct it, you go on. Correct it. Joe Creedy? Joe Creedy is correct. <laughs> so with the score, six to five. Derek, you're the winner. Phil, we got to say goodbye to you. Second place doesn't cut it here in the research room. Derek, you're $1,000 richer. When we come back, it's time for you to challenge the biggest brain and the biggest man in the research room. Stick and stick. New Fruit 2O Immunity. The only vitamin enhanced full flavored water that's immune to calories. Hence the zero. New Fruit 2O Immunity. Another good thing about Geico is they've got like real live people working there 24 7. So, like, say you need to report a claim, right? A real person will be there to help you. Then you can use geico.com to view photos of the damage, track your claim, print an estimate. You want an English muffin? They literally hand you a toasted muffin with butter and jam. <sighs> oh, it's tasty. That's a, that's a complete dramatization, of course, but you get my point. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Traffic ahead. Incredible. You found a golf course near the conference. Awesome Chinese. Now you find me a way around traffic. I love you. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you're never coming around. Take Market Street exit. 
<laughs> You're right. We'll just keep it professional, you know? Go everywhere, find everything. Fall hard for the new Wear 2 GPS at Avis. Wait, DQ put the cone in the soft serve? Yet they can't give me a face. Oh, the irony. The new Caramel Waffle Crisp Blizzard Treat at Dairy Queen. With crunchy waffle cone pieces, caramel, and chocolate chunks. Do one. Pizza. For here to go? Delivery. Lois! You, you never believe me. Pizza's here! Hey! Play a little captain in them, because they always designate a driver. Drink responsibly. Captain Morgan is proud to be made with Puerto Rican rum. The American Gladiators versus the Challengers. Two powerful forces clash in contests of strength and agility. The legendary American Gladiators. Weeknights, 7 Eastern, 10 Pacific, and weekend mornings at 9 on ESPN Classic. <laughs> no, we only give loans to big business. Good afternoon. My business plan is fantastic. Yeah, what's that? And as you can oh, see, our those small business owners. Uh, research indicates this trend will continue well into next year. Now, if you turn your attention uh, to my 10-year forecast. <laughs> oh. Does your bank think small about your small business? Call Capital One instead for no-hassle business loans, lines of credit, and credit cards. Check your mailbox. Hello, Capital One. What's in your wallet? <laughs> My neighbor drove all over town to find the best deal on a cell phone. I just logged on to Let's Talk. They make it easy to compare plans from all major carriers and find cell phone deals that are much cheaper than retail. Like the hot Blackberry Pearl with music and video player, a $369 value, yours free after mail-in rebate and new calling plan. Let's Talk has the best prices, the best plans, and the most free phones guaranteed. Log on to 25letstalk.com or call now to order your BlackBerry Pearl. Let's Talk, the smarter way to shop for cell phones. So log on or call now. Welcome back to Stump the Schwab with a round mound of research is getting set to go blow for blow with Derek. All right, Derek, if you stump this man, you can tell all the kiddies back at the crib that you toppled a giant and you're going to add another thousand bucks to the thousand bucks you got for just showing up right here. We call this the Schwab Showdown. Here's how it goes down. There are four categories. Every category has three questions worth one, two, and three points. For every incorrect answer, you get a strike. Three strikes, you're out. You also have one pass. You can pass a question to your opponent and make him answer, but you only get one pass, and your opponent, if he still has his pass, could pass it back to you, so it's a whole pass happy thing going on. All right, tonight's categories are like father, like son. These are questions about fathers and sons in Major League Baseball. General knowledge. This is all about Bobby Knight, the general. QB Illin. Dun, 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 dun. We're talking big-time quarterback injuries and checkered pass. These are questions about the Indianapolis 500. Derek, here's the deal. This is your chance to stump this man because you're going to pick the questions that Schwab has to answer, and Schwab's going to pick the questions that you have to answer, all right? All right, let's go. Derek, pick your first category for the Schwab. Checkered pass for one. <laughs> for one point, Schwab. Late night host David Letterman co-owns an Indy Racing League team with what former Indy 500 winner? That would be Bobby Rahal. That would be, and it would be correct. One point for Schwab. <laughs> Category for Derek. I'll go QB Illin for one. QB Illin. For one point, Derek. In 1999, a preseason injury to what Rams starting quarterback catapulted Kurt Warner to NFL greatness? Frank Green. Correct, for one point. <laughs> Category for Schwab. Like father, like son. For one point, Schwab. With the 18th pick in the 2006 Major League Baseball Amateur Draft, the Phillies selected the son of what former Pirates Cy Young winner? We're looking for the dad here. That's why Doug Drabeck. Doug Drabeck is correct, for one point. Schwab, you lead two to one. Category for Derek. We'll go with general knowledge for one. For one point, Derek. In what year did Bob Knight serve as the head coach of the gold medal winning U.S. Olympic basketball team? 1984. 1984 is correct. Maybe the best team ever put together. Score is tied to 2-2. Derek, category for Schwab. General knowledge for two. For two points, Schwab. 
While at Indiana, Knight famously threw a chair across the court to protest the officiating in a 1985 game against what Big Ten rival? Purdue. Steve Reed was on the line. You ain't got to show off. It just Purdue would have been good enough. Schwab leads 4 to 2. Category for Derek. Let's try uh, QB Illin for two. For two points, Derek. In a playoff game on January 8, 2006, what Pittsburgh Steelers devastating hit tore the ACL of Bengals quarterback Carson Palmer? Kimo von Ohoffen. Kimo von Ohoffen. Gazumtite is correct. <laughs> We're tied up 4 4. Nobody's got a strike. Nobody's used a pass. It's all smooth. Category for Schwab, Derek. Checkered pass. Checkered pass for two points. Schwab, the 2006 Indy 500 featured the second closest finish in the race's history. Name the winner and who he defeated by less than seven one hundredths of a second. Sam Hornish Jr. won the race. Correct. And he beat Marco Andretti. That is correct as well. Like father, like son, too. For two points, Derek. What current major leaguer is the son of the 1986 American League home run leader? We're looking for the son. Tony Armas Jr. That is incorrect. The answer is Josh Barfield. All right, Derek, that is your first strike. Category for Schwab. General knowledge for three. Three points, big boy question. Schwab, at Indiana, Knight coached two Hoosiers who won the Naismith Award as college basketball's best player. Name them. At Indiana, Knight coached two Hoosiers who won the Naismith Award as college basketball's best player. Name them. And you do have your pass. Okay. One is Calbert Chaney. Calbert Chaney is correct. Oh, boy. The two names are either Steve Alford or Sean May, uh, Scott May. Oh, boy. I'm going to say Scott May. <laughs> Scott oh, May is oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Scott May is correct. Pick up three points there. Pick a category for Derek. Wow. You lead nine to four. Like father, like son, three. For three points, Derek. Three generations of what family have played in the majors, starting with Sam, a Negro League Triple Crown winner who played four games with the White Sox? And you do have your pass. Pass. Want to hear the question again, Schwab? No, I'm going to try. I'm going to pass it back. Passes it back to you. We're looking for the family. Three generations of what family have played in the majors? Sam, a Negro League Triple Crown winner, four games with the White Sox. He started it. Hairston? Hairston? Yeah. Did a brother say Hairston? What, 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 Sam's sons, Jerry Harrison Sr. and John Harrison, his grandsons, Jerry Harrison Jr. and Scott Harrison. Nine to seven is the score. Category for Schwab. Checkered passed. For three points. Schwab. Only four women have ever qualified for the Indy 500. Name three of them. Danica Patrick. Correct. Janet Guthrie. Correct. Lynn St. James. Correct. You want and to I'll... show off and get the fourth? Yeah, I will. Sarah Fisher. What, you think you're going to get, like, five points? I don't care. I got enough. That's... That is. We need a three I'm or four. Or, you I'm got still four impressed four. with the Harrison answer. I sh that was great. 12 great to job. 7. Now, here's the deal. You know math. You know you can't win. But points do count. Your point total could get you to the semifinals as well. So this last question could be very important. All right? For three points, Derek, with Dan Marino and Scott Mitchell out with injuries, what third stringer led Miami to victory in 1993 to give Don Shula his record 325th head coaching win? Hmm. Dan Marino, Scott Mitchell out with injuries. Let's see, um, 
It's got CQs. Mmm. It's a hell of a guess. Good guess. Incorrect. The answer is Doug Peterson. Wow. That is your second strike. Derek, you fought hard, man, but the Schwab not only wears a triple XL jersey, he also has a triple XL knowledge. Next time, we'll have three new contestants ready to enter Schwab's den of knowledge here in the research room and try and knock them off. You saw it tonight. It ain't easy. You know how we do it around here. Hugs and hand pounds, everybody. From Universal Studios Hollywood, the Samuel Goldwyn Company presents American Gladiators. Selected from a nationwide search, 20 men and women have come to Hollywood to challenge our force of American Gladiators for a single honor to become American Gladiators champion. Now, here are your American Gladiators. Gemini, Lace, Nitro, Gold, Laser, Blade, Thunder, Ice, Turbo, and Diamond. The host for American Gladiators, Mike Hadley and his co-host, Larry Zonka. That's it, baby. Welcome to Universal Studios Hollywood and another edition of the American Gladiators. Today, we crown champions. This is the final round. Hi, everyone. I'm Mike Cannonley, along with NFL Hall of Famer number 39 from the Miami Dolphins, Mr. Larry Zonka. Hi, Mike. How you doing? For the contenders who have made it this far, to borrow a phrase from the Grateful Dead, what a long, strange trip it's been. We've seen ups and downs, bumps and bruises, but Larry, considering what's at stake for the finalists, I don't think any of them would trade the experience for anything. Now, there's been a lot of bumps and bruises and some real hits going on. I've enjoyed watching that, but today, there's going to be a new motivation. There are going to be 10,000 reasons why they're going to be motivated today, because that's what the winner takes home today. 10,000 for the winner, 5,000 for the loser. Those contenders can get mighty mean when green's on the line. <laughs> and let's meet them for this final round. In our women's final, please welcome back Maria Nickbean of Cincinnati, Ohio, my human services worker. And her opponent, Trace Tillotson of Wichita, Kansas, an elementary health and physical communications teacher. In the men's final, here's Rico Costantino of Santa Ana, California, a personal bodyguard. And his opponent, John Adams of Oakland, California, an account representative and holder of a brown belt in judo. Trish, this is a brand new experience for you, not your competing here on American Gladiators, but for the first time in your life, the outcome of an athletic competition is going to result in money. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done a lot of sports, and it's uh, always done it kind of for the pleasure of winning, and now it's the pleasure of I get a little financial reward, which is nice. It's a nice change. Have you thought, just for a second, how you might spend the, uh, the prize money? Yeah, I'd pay a lot of bills, and I'd share it with my family, and maybe take my boyfriend on a cruise. <laughs> I, think, I think that's a great idea, especially for your boyfriend. John, you know, uh, you have had a, uh, we talked about the long, strange trip. You came into this competition, not one of the favorites, really, but you have been the picture of consistency, and here you are in the finals. How do you feel? I, it feels great to be here. I uh, don't know whether that's a good or bad sign. It means uh, another day taking on the gladiators, um, but I welcome the opportunity to do so. Keeping the even keel is the secret here. Larry? Maria had a parade when you left Cincinnati. Your friends threw you a little going away party. They've been obviously following you through this thing very excited and i noticed something you've been the smilingest contender we've ever had on here you've had a great time the fact that i've remained injury free that's where the smile is <laughs> and i've been having a wonderful time so i can't do anything but smile and thank everybody for giving me this opportunity we're looking forward to watching you rico we've been hearing about the rico rock i've had occasion to see it in the last few uh, competitions where you get yourself ready by concentrating and rocking you want to tell us a little about that Oh, it stems from my younger days, you know, getting ready for like a wrestling match or a football game. You just sit down and just take care of business and just 
visualize yourself through the event. Well, you've got a crowd behind you because you've got the Rico Rooters here with you. Good luck today to both of you, Mike. Well, there's no money on the line for the gladiators. They are strictly playing for pride. Play for that pride and play hard. Contenders have a great competition. Let the finals begin. This is how our competition works on the American Gladiators. Our contenders, our finalists, two men and two women, will compete against the Gladiators in seven very different events. Now the contenders, the finalists, who will mass the most points in these seven rigorous confrontations, now automatically advance to the Grand Championship Final. At stake, over $150,000 in cash and prizes and memories to last a lifetime. Hello, everyone. I'm here with Staff Sergeant Anthony Parrish from close by Camp Pendleton. And this morning, Sarge, I saw you outside working with some of our contenders who've been getting beat around in the pugil stick and the joust a little bit. You were kind of putting them through a scrimmage. Yes, yeah, this morning what we're trying to do is establish some type of technique and some type of rhythm when we go out there this morning. We don't want to get caught off guard without any control. We want to take control at the beginning. Well, you obviously you've done a good job with the contenders. I watched today, and you the first thing I noticed was you were putting them through a system of combinations, almost systematic, instead of just making a hit and coming back to the neutral points. You were giving combinations to them. Yes, yeah, the combination, what it does, it throws your opponent off where you can take control of the fight. And once you take control, you, which you know you have won the fight. And that's the main thing of that. Sarge, thank you for giving us a little help. Appreciate it. Thank you. So practice time with our Marines is over. Now it's time to face the Gladiators on their own. First up, Rico Costantino. 210 pounds of solid muscle, but our top seed wasn't always built this way. When I was in eighth grade, ninth grade, I was four foot 11 and I weighed 82 pounds. I was, I was a little mad. And the seniors who I went to school with thought it was a big joke. They used to find Rico at the end of the day, and it'd take all of three of them, two to grab me and one to open doors, and they'd walk me out to the lake, and I'd go swimming, you know? And that was the event. Or they'd chase me around, and so that's where I got my quickness, too, and the ability to hide. Mike, do you think those same guys that used to throw oh Rico around would want to take on Gemini and the joust? It's doubtful, Larry. Rico's given Jim and I all he wants. When he can connect, he's missed clean a couple of times. Rico with an uncanny sense of balance. A spirited match, and they're going to call this one a draw. Both men went off at the same time. Hey, look at the force of the blows being landed by Gemini, as well as returned by Rico. Two Bulldogs, one bone. And it ends up in a draw. And that'll bring up Rico's opponent, 29-year-old John Adams, who's out to prove that nice guys don't necessarily finish last. I don't think being a nice guy, it's, it's always been a fault that people have, have pointed out, John, you're too nice, you're too much of a gentleman. You, know, you knock a guy down, you don't need to pick him up or help him up, or you don't need to congratulate a guy for beating you. Uh, perception, I think people, they might mistake that as a weakness. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to set them straight pretty quickly. That is not a weakness of mine, but I consider an attribute. And Mike, I think the fact that I'm John's here in the final demonstrates that he hasn't been that much of a nice guy. But remember, he is 0-3 in uh, joust matches. Make that now 0-4. As John looks a little unsure of just how to attack Gemini, as Gemini lands a one-two, throws John off balance, John never really recovering from that, losing his balance and stepping across. So Gemini again proves why he's the best in the joust. As only Rico earns five points in this, the first event. Our final has just begun, however, as later we'll see Powerball. But up next, it's the women's turn to joust. This ESPN Classic Program is brought to you by Cub Cadet. Enter the Making the Cut Trivia Challenge on ESPN.com. Keyword Cub Cadet for your chance to win.
build every Cub Cadet with the moves to work faster and the strength to work harder so you can finally win back your weekend. So you got a good deal on car insurance. Are you sure? If a friend borrows your car and something happens, are you covered? Will your rates go up if you have an accident? An Allstate agent will give you straight answers, help you get the protection that's right for you, and can even save you money. Without an Allstate agent, you're behind the eight ball. That's Allstate stand. Are you in good hands? The Philips Norelco Smart Touch XL adjusts to your face for a closer shave with 50% more shaving surface and three shaving rings in each shaving head. Philips Norelco, the world's best-selling electric shaver. Simplicity is making every stroke count. Wait, DQ put the cone in the soft serve? Yet they can't give me a face. Oh, the irony. The new Caramel Waffle Crisp Blizzard Treat at Dairy Queen with crunchy waffle cone pieces, caramel, and chocolate chunks. Do one. The stage is set. In theaters, the battle is coming. But on the court, the mission is now. The fight for the future is on. Will you be watching when? Transformers in theaters July 4th. The NBA Western Conference Finals, now playing on ESPN and ABC. It's a Texas Hold'em Billiards Weekend on ESPN Classic's Weekend Marathon. Every weekend, Classic picks one sport Touchdown! and runs with it for a full day of Classic action. From shooting stars to classic cars, 10 pins to last second win. I don't believe it! Believe it. Every weekend, ESPN Classic ups the ante with Classic Weekend Marathons. This weekend, money is on the table. It's a Texas Hold'em Billiards Marathon. Sunday at 2, only on ESPN Classic. Welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood, where the women's final is all set to begin with the women's jobs. Where Diamond will take on Maria Flash Nickting. Maria told us earlier where she got that nickname. Well, it's not because of my speed. I'm, I'm not a naturally fast runner or anything like that. It's um, from my... I'm not afraid of things. I drive really fast and I've regretted it. My insurance shows that. And um, I've always been real aggressive. So my father gave me this nickname, Flash. Maria, no flash in the pan either. She has been extremely Under. consistent all the way up until this final round. Trying to get off to a good start here against Diamond. Looks like she's doing so. Diamond's doing a good job of keeping Maria a little off balance. We have landed a few blows, but now it's all she can do to stay on the platform. Maria has earned three draws in her three previous jousts, and it looks like she may earn one here again. And she does, this time against Diamond. Well, why aren't you a happy camper, Maria? I wanted this bad. I guess I just want, didn't want it bad enough. She's tough. I, would... I think that you wanted it plenty bad enough. Uh, as a matter of fact, other contenders in the past, if they were in your position, down on their knees, almost on their keister, they didn't get up. They fell off, but somehow you managed to struggle to your feet. It didn't hurt. When I went down, it didn't hurt. It just knocked me off balance, and it was just a matter of getting back up. I mean, I knew once I got up, I was going to stay. I, mean, I haven't felt this thing yet, and I'm not going to, so... <laughs> I don't blame you, Maria. You get five points for the draw. Congratulations. Maria's opponent is Trish Tillotson, who told us why she likes to compete. I like to compete because it puts you on the edge. It forces you to achieve and accomplish. Whether you end up winning or losing, you make yourself reach out and surpass what you think you can do. And to me, that's a win. And that's what it's all about. Speaking of winning, this is the fourth consecutive time that Trish has faced Diamond in the joust. And she's been victorious in her previous three matches. Both Trish and Diamond wasting no time wading right into the battle. Hey, Trish almost had her helmet knocked off right there. Oh, and 
finally losing her balance and stepping across the Diamond's platform, losing the match. Diamond, I think one thing that all people appreciate are people who are true to their words. You told me you weren't going to get knocked off this pedestal, and still you haven't. No, I meant it. It's a feeling. I feel good. And the strategy is you have to have this attitude. You have to get mean. I'm not a mean person by nature. But when I have to do it, I can do it. Boy, you rearranged her helmet. I think a few of her teeth. Yeah, mine too. I know she wanted it desperately, but I wanted it more. It was a great was battle, and like I said, it's a long day, Diamond. Keep it up. What a way to start the day. Congratulations. Well, Maria starts off the women's final with a lead after the joust. Meanwhile, over in the men's, Rico leads John after one event as Nitro, Laser, and Thunder prepare for Powerball. And once again, our two contenders, Rico and John, have 45 hey. seconds to score as many goals as they can. Goals in those outer cylinders were two points. Goals in the center cylinder worth four. Down. Rico beating the double team and scoring. Put a shoulder down and drove for the end zone. Made the score in the center pod. No score. Two. Tries a little footwork there. But Nitro's not back. Good move by John. He just got tripped up, almost had a goal. Once again, John almost eludes the grasp of Thunder, but can't score, and that's it. The match is over. Rico, the winner, 6-2. As we get a look at Rico demonstrating a little power back technique as he powers through two of the gladiators, drags Thunder, and scores in the pod. By contrast, John uses some fancy footwork to score his lone goal of the game. So with his win in Powerball, Rico increases his lead to 11-2 over John after two events. In our women's final, Maria holds a five-point edge as they prepare for Powerball. Taking on the women in this final round are Ice, Lace, and Blaze. Fierce-looking group of gladiators. Larry, this should be a very good match because both Maria and Trish have demonstrated to be excellent in this event. Ready? Maria in the red, Trish in the blue. Boy, you don't see that happen too often to Ice. She got completely faked out. Left standing flat-footed. Okay, Trish has got two quick goals, and Maria paid for that one. Trish using a little rugby tactic. She's just going to slam and bang. Okay, Lace taking Trish up high, effective. Stay down, stay down. You know, some of the contenders complain about Blaze because she attacks so high, but Blaze is so tall, she really can't help it. The match is over. This one ends up in a 4-4 tie. You see Maria using a little spin technique, kind of backing away, but gets the ball in for the score. On the other hand, Trish using a little more physical attitude, takes on ice as well as lace, but ends up on the mat. So, a well-earned 4-4 tie for our women in Powerball. And after two events, Maria continues to lead by five, now with the score 9-4. Our final round continues with action and breakthrough in Conquer, as well as Atmosphere. But up next is The Wall. Without a doubt, my most romantic date ever. We walked out of the bar hand in hand. I think he tried to kiss me, but he missed. I kissed him first. There is definitely something here. Chemistry is something that's hard to explain, but we have it. She has such a great smile. That's such a beautiful smile. When you pair chemistry with deep compatibility, that's called finding the love of your life. I can't <laughs> stop kissing her. <laughs> Find it for yourself at eHarmony.com. Log on today. If you want the best place for the best rates, just follow the crowd to motel6.com. Think there's an easier way to book a room? Don't hold your breath. Motel6.com. We'll leave the light on for you. 
Jared here with some hard-hitting Little Leaguers. You know there are over 12 million overweight kids in this country. But exercise and eating right can help. Which is why Subway Restaurants has the delicious new Subway Fresh Fit Meals. They fit into the American Heart Association's approach to a healthy lifestyle. Subway! Eat fresh. It's been too long. Savvy. Pirates. Ready PG-13. See it now. ESPN Classic is opening up the boxing vault. Right. Oh, the right hand behind the jab. Now with rarely seen fights. Featuring some of the biggest names in boxing. Golden Boy De La Hoya. Real Deal Holyfield. Sweet D Whitaker. From one classic knockout to the next. That's it. It's, it's all me. over. It's all over. Classic Night at the Fights. 8 p.m. weeknights. Only on ESPN Classic. Tonight on ESPN Classic, at 8, Reggie Green squares off against Mickey Ward in a 1999 fight. At 10, who's number one counts down the most controversial. And at 11, saddle up for the Extreme Bulls Tour. It's all tonight on ESPN Classic. I'm out for the rest of the day. I have that fender bender on Tuesday. I'm meeting with the insurance claims guy. I have to meet with the insurance claims guy. I'm meeting with the insurance claims guy. Hold down the fort. It's an all-day thing. All-day thing. If anyone's asking, I am gone for the afternoon only. Here we go. Nice to meet you. Mr. Denson, Tina from Progressive. So if you'll point out your car... They're right there. I'll be finished in no time. Great. Thanks. That's it? At Progressive, we make filing a claim easy. Maybe too easy. Progressive. Saving hundreds is just the beginning. Okay, movies. Since Netflix has made it so easy for people to find the right movies, you're all going out today. Oh. Netflix users can choose from classics and new releases to TV shows and get the details on over 75,000 titles. Even search for children's movies based on age. That's you, Pinocchio. Yep. No late fees ever. So some of you may be out for quite a while. Netflix. Start your free trial. Now, plans from only $4.99. Welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood, where our final round of American Gladiators continues with the wall. In this event, our two contenders will climb side by side using special hand grips in an attempt to reach our 32-foot summit. There's a 60-second time limit, and the man who makes it to the top first earns 10 points. Rico will be chased up by Nitro. You can see all that magnesium carbonate on his hands to give him a good grip, while John Adams will be chased by Gemini. Ready? Keep in mind, our contenders have a 10-second head start over the Gladiators. Rico in the red, John in the blue. Now, it's perfectly okay for the Gladiators to fall off. They're allowed to go back up again. Nitro well aware of the fact that Rico's a good climber, took a gamble to try to catch early, as you see both of our contenders reaching the top of the wall almost exactly at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, a first here on the American Gladiators. This climb up the wall between John Adams and Rico Constantino, so close, they finished in a dead heat. For the first time ever, both contenders get 10 points. Please, please. Uh, man, it was a rough climb. I knew, uh, I knew Rico was tough, and I just had to just barrel it and go, go all out. You know, most contenders, when they go up the wall, they try not to worry about the gladiator, and they never look at who they're going against. I saw Rico look at you, John. Did you look at him? Uh, actually, no, I gave Rico a lot of credit. I knew he was going to be there. I didn't even have to look over and confirm it. I knew he'd be there on right, right there. You have gotten progressively better in this event. What's the reason? With the wall, you really do have, you have to attack it. The more time you waste on it, the, uh, the more your forearms and hands get a little burnt, burnt out. Well, John, normally your trademark is consistency, but you were spectacular up that wall. Congratulations. 10 points and 10 points for you, my man. Yeah, um, that's a, it was really a dead even race. He said he knew you would be there, so he didn't watch you climb up the wall, but you watched him, I saw that. For me, it was a, I was uh, behind. I, I knew it, I had to make a last grab. It was either 10 or nothing. You know, if I'd have missed, I'd have fell. You know, so it was that all-or-nothing type burst I had to do. Well, gentlemen, you look like a pair of Sherpa guides up Mount Everest. Congratulations. Great, great climb. John Adams and Rico. Both our Sherpas come away with 10 points, with Rico leading John 21-12. Meanwhile, Maria holds a five-point margin over Trish, as Maria will be followed up the wall by Gold, and Trish 
will be hearing Diamond's footsteps on the wall behind her. Get in! Once again, our two contenders given a 10-second head start. Diamond closed the gap on Trish. Making short work of that 10-second differential. Remember, she fell, too. She's right on Trish's heels, has a hold of her ankle, and that's it for Trish Tillotson. Out by a sock. As we see Maria pulling herself up on top of the wall. There's a happy gal. Piece of cake. Maria, easy for you to say, piece of cake. It wasn't that easy? No, it was far from being easy, but for some reason this time, I, I felt like Spider-Woman, you know? I just, I figured I had to make it to the top no matter what, and I didn't even think about gold behind me. I just thought about getting that next grip and pulling myself over. Once I saw the top, I was like, home free. If you don't think Maria is excited, look at her hands, folks. They're still shaking. Congratulations, 10 points. With her victory on the wall, Maria now increases her lead over Trish after three events. Rico holds the lead in our men's final as our combatants take to the field for Breakthrough and Cocker. And Larry Laser and Thunder get the call here with Thunder getting the Breakthrough assignment. Laser will be in the Cocker ring. Once again, our two-part event, part football, part wrestling. John Adams' first assignment, get by get Thunder, in. cross that goal line with the football tucked under his arm. He'll earn five points if he can do that, but Thunder yeah. says, nothing doing, pal. You're down. Hi, John. Thunder moved up on him, took him on at the five-yard line, and laid him down neatly. Let's see how John does in Cocker. He's got 10 seconds to take any part of Laser's body outside that ring. Laser throwing John around like a rag dog and poked in the eye, John did. And that's it. John Adams gets shut out. So, Rico Costantino, a chance to pad his lead here. See Rico ready? doing the Rico Rock, getting ready, and Thunder doing a little running in place. Thunder comes out the winner again. It's a big body to get by. Well, he's moving his feet very quickly. He's in, in good order, good position. Ready? Boy, look how low laser gets. Taking Rico's hands off his body, but Rico's got him tied up now. Pull him outside the ring to earn five points. Rico avoided the shutout by pulling Laser from the ring, much to the dismay of the Gladiators and to the delight of his own fan club. So now, after four events, Rico adds to his lead 26 12 over John. There's plenty of action remaining, including Atmosphere, our game of assault, but up next is women's breakthrough and conquer. Today, we're going to be learning how to deal with a neighbor's overgrown lawn. Look at that, will ya? That really pokes my hive. When working outside like we are, you definitely want the Hager Cool 18 Camp Shirt. And Cool 18 Pants. They're made right to wick away moisture and keep you cool and dry. Ah! These gentle grazing animals will keep this lawn neatly trimmed. Oh, uh, I'd be careful walking barefoot out here for a while. Oh. All right. See you next time. Till then, we'll be right here making, making things, things right. right. Traffic ahead. Incredible. You found a golf course near the conference. Awesome Chinese. Now you find me a way around traffic. I love you. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you're never coming around. Take Market Street exit. <laughs> you're right. We'll just keep it professional, you know? Go everywhere, find everything. Fall hard for the new Wear 2 GPS at Avis. Switch to Valvoline's Max Life, and there's no telling how long your car will keep going. Max Life not only protects against friction, but also leaks, deposits, and sludge, the four major causes of high mileage engine breakdown. Long live your car. I know where he's heading. Don't worry, I'll be there. Now playing at sea
Blockbuster Total Access lets you order movies online, return by mail, even exchange for new ones at the store. No extra charge. And no waiting for new movies. No wonder thousands join Blockbuster Total Access every week. We did. Get your free trial at Blockbuster.com. Closed captioning for selected programming is brought to you by Skechers. So I figured, listen, I wear the shoes, I like them, I'll buy their stock. That's how I invest. No, oh, so I publicly trade it. It's on the New York Stock Exchange, genius. So you're going to retire off of shoot investments in footwear. That's brilliant. Hey, thanks for stopping by. You know, I've I followed your character since the first episode. I'm a, I'm a big fan, big, big fan. Thank you. And listen, your storyline, it makes for incredible TV drama. Thing is, your drug use is very adult content. Too adult for the kids. So I'm going to have to block you. Well, have a good one. You're a nice lady. It's a Texas Hold'em Billiards Weekend on ESPN Classics Weekend Marathon. Every weekend, Classic picks one sport. Touchdown! And runs with it for a full day of classic action. From shooting stars to classic cars, 10 pins to last second win. I don't believe it! Believe it. Every weekend, ESPN Classic ups the ante with Classic Weekend Marathons. This weekend, money is on the table. It's a Texas Hold'em Billiards Marathon. Sunday at 2, only on ESPN Classic. Classic Night at the Fights, 8 p.m. weeknights, only on ESPN Classic. Welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood for more of the American Gladiators. And in this finals, Maria leads Trish after three events as they prepare to challenge Ice and Lace and Breakthrough and Conquer. And like Trish Tillotson's up first, but she needs some points to get back into this competition. Ice is ready and waiting in the conquer ring, and Lace will be trying to stop Trish and break through. Ready? Not much of a move by Trish, just simply runs over the top of Lace. Nothing fancy, just raw power. As you see Trish do the head-on collision with Lace, Lace grabbing a handful of hair on the way down, but it doesn't stop Trish from scoring. Ready? Boy, look how powerful Ice is. Ice trying to stay down low, but now Trish has got her up high and dragged her out of the ring. Trish blowing through. Perfect score. Score, contender. You talk about a clutch performance. Going into this event, you trailed 19 to 4. You needed 10 points. You got 10 points. Yes. <laughs> yes, I did, but I'm having fun now. I love this stuff. This is where I belong. <laughs> I like it. It got me 10 points, and I love it even more for that. Yes! <laughs> Chris, you are back in the hunt, and I'll do the same thing. Thanks. Yes! Now we're getting set for Maria Nick King. Now only leading by five points as she prepares to take on Lace. Three, two. Ready? <laughs> Once again, nothing fancy. Tiny move by Maria, and it paid off as she drags Lace across the goal line. Lace needs to move up to that five-yard line, give herself a little Ready? operating room. Ice again, trying to stay low. And Maria runs out of time in the conquer circle. She doesn't score there, but she does walk away with five points and breakthrough and conquer. So Trish Tillotson wins her first event of this final and closes in now on the lead of Maria Nick King. In our men's competition, Rico is in the lead as we get set for Atlasphere, our 62nd event where two contenders compete simultaneously in an effort to score in any of the four pods worth three points. At the same time, our two gladiators will be trying to keep the contenders from scoring by means of their spears. Rico loading his 210 pounds inside his atmosphere, hoping to use his weight to an advantage. John at 185 pounds, not quite as heavy, not quite as powerful. He'll rely more on finesse. And there you look at Gemini. He calls this event Rage in the Cage. Nitro, the other gladiator on the playing surface. Again, their mission, trying to stop the contenders from scoring. Oh, 
Rico goes to work right away. Puts a move on Gemini, is trying to do it again. As we see John Adams scoring, coming out of the pod. Gemini pushed Rico out of the scoring position. And now we have a traffic problem. Rico does manage to score again. John following him right behind him, and yes, he scores as well. doing a good job of using his power, gets into position, rolls his vehicle into the scoring pod. Jim and I are a little frustrated. Now John's finally out. Lost some precious time, however, as Rico scores again. This event 60 seconds can seem like an eternity. Nitro, you had your hands full with John. He kind of changed his strategy up, didn't use that much speed, was kind of slow, and was using the bumps that you were giving him to put him in the pond. Yeah, this is a tough game. Like I said, once you come inside here, Larry, we're all the same size. Uh, it takes a lot of determination. You got to really pump your legs like you're running up a hill, and you have to learn to control the ball. They both did a good, good job. But I think as gladiators, it's up to us to get better and better. <laughs> Good luck, Nitro. Jim and I, Rico was running around. You were rumble in the jungle and the master blaster, and Rico put it on you a little bit. Yeah, he did. You know, I went delirious a little bit. I get in here and I get the rage in the cage syndrome. <laughs> and what happened was he was going around, he's made some, his strategy was good, going back and forth to the pods. I think I peaked just a little too soon. <laughs> Rico, Rico had some backing. Rico's Raiders were up in the stands giving him a lot of pep, too. It was a great competition. Thank you. You bet you, Larry. And Jim and I will be the first to tell you that you get one terrific workout inside those atmospheres. All right, it's the women's turn. Maria Nickting and Trish Tillotson will go at it in atmosphere. They become celebrities back in their respective hometowns of Cincinnati, Ohio, and Wichita, Kansas. So there's bragging rights on the line here as well. The Jayhawk State versus the Buckeye State. Ready, blue. Gladiators, ready. Spotters, ready. Mike, I always get a kick out of our referee, Larry Thompson, how fast he gets himself out of that arena playing area. And there he goes. Match is underway. Maria in the red, Trish in the blue. Trish has got it going, but she can't settle down there, so she misses out on a chance for a goal. Maria breaking into the open. Will she be able to stop her spear? She does. Picks up some points. Oh, oh. Maria doing a good job of accelerating and then throwing herself against the back side of the cage to stop as she rolls into the pot at the far end. Trish, unfortunately, being double teamed, now slammed into one of the barriers. Oh. They're breaking into the open again. Will she be able to stop the spear? And she does. Now has got good control. Some big time playing going on out there. And Trish is able to score right before the whistle blows. Today you could just muster one goal, and that was at the very last second. Yeah, I got in a couple times, and just couldn't hold it quite long enough. I got in three other times, but they just got right behind me and pushed me out. I didn't know they were quite that close, or I would have slowed up a little bit more. Last one, I sat down on my butt and got the score. <laughs> Do you lose a sense of balance when you're inside these things? No, you really don't. It's kind of like it's your own world, and you're controlling it. So you really don't, not at all. Well, you controlled your own world to the tune of one goal worth three points. Congratulations. It's always a great workout. Well, while Trish was down there uh, taking on the Gladiators, we had some open field running by Maria. You kind of broke into the open and took advantage of it. I was hauling in this thing. I was pushing my whole body up against this side and just running as fast as I could to, just so I could take advantage of every spot I got. And um, these are a lot of fun, but <laughs> they'll wear you out. <laughs> Tired or not, you were good enough to end up with nine points. Congratulations, Maria. Good job. So flat. 
match, Maria Nickting rolls her way to a win in atmosphere, and now after five events, she leads Trish 33-17. Still to come is the eliminator, but up next, our game of hit or be hit, we call it assault. Wait, DQ put the cone in the soft serve? Yet they can't give me a face. Oh, the irony. The new Caramel Waffle Crisp Blizzard Treat at Dairy Queen. With crunchy waffle cone pieces, caramel, and chocolate chunks. Do one. Why live with athlete's foot? The itching, the burning. Lotrimin Ultra treats most athlete's foot in just one week's use. New Lamisil Defense, four long weeks. But Lotrimin Ultra is so powerful, nothing cures faster. Lotrimin Ultra, the one week killer cure. Introducing the 2007 Cadillac CTS Bose Edition, complete with sunroof, Bose sound system, 3.6 liter engine, and wood and leather trim. It's everything you need now to play at full volume. See your local Cadillac dealer for this amazing offer. Sometimes all you need is Advance Auto Parts. Now through June 30th, all air filters are 25% off. Save gas, save money, breathe easier. We're ready in advance. There's been a scorcher sighting. Scorcher. It's back. It's a hot one. Hey, scorcher. Which is why we use the turn signal. All right, who can tell Mr. Leffler why it's dangerous to go fast? The, the faster you go, the less control you have over your car. Very good, Mr. Edwards, which is why... Well, yeah, because last year at Charlotte, going about 175 off turn four, Casey got real sideways and just T-boned me right in the door. If I'd have backed it down to, say, 150, 140, he'd have missed me completely. T-boned you. Well done. The NASCAR Bush Series at Dover. Coverage begins Saturday at 2.30 on ESPN2. Can you find the missing link? ESPN Classic's new series connects the biggest icons in sports. One overcame racism, the other embraced the missing link. Wednesdays at 10 on ESPN Classic. ESPN Classic is opening up the boxing vault. Right. Oh, the right hand behind the jab. Now with rarely seen fights. Featuring some of the biggest names in boxing. Golden Boy De La Hoya. Real Deal Holyfield, Sweet Pea Whitaker. From one classic knockout to the next. That's it! It's, it's all me. over! It's all over! Classic Night at the Fights, 8 p.m. weeknights, only on ESPN Classic. Welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood. Rico leads John after five events as they take aim in assault. And in assault, our contenders have 60 seconds to hit the target using five different weapons. First a crossbow, a rocket launcher, the cannon, a pistol, and finally three softballs. And if a contender can cross the finish line without being hit, it's worth four points. And doing the shooting honors for the Gladiators Turbos proved to be very handy in this event. First up is Rico Costantino. There you see the target above Turbo's head. You hit the red area, that's worth seven points. A bullseye worth 10. Rico is low and off the mark. Rico getting nice and low to avoid Turbo's shot, but his shot with the rocket launcher is wide. And Turbo wastes no time in picking Rico off as he tried to head for that third safe zone. Turbo very happy with the results of that round as we reset for John Adams. Round about 50-50 in terms of who they're rooting for.
Turbo rapid firing at John, almost controlling the contest early on. And if you're a contender, your life passes before your eyes. Kind of a weak shot there. Oh, John slips on his way to the third safe zone, and Turbo picks him off. Turbo shuts out the men, and Rico holds on to the lead over John, who told us earlier how he enjoys underdog status. I much prefer being in the underdog role. It's, it's nice to be um, thought of as the number one or the number one seed, the top seed. Uh, however, my style is more of a low-key style, catch people by surprise, catch them off guard. Uh, and that all falls in line with being in the underdog role or position. No underdog in our women's competition, although Maria leads Trish as they take aim and assault. Fast and physical game, but also a game of nerves. I hope Maria wasn't hyperventilating to see those tennis balls whiz by you. That'll make you lightheaded enough. Watch the trigger, right the trigger. Whoop. <laughs> Boy, we've seen that time and time again. Maria almost taking out a couple of our stage hands as she's hit, moving to the cannon. And Blaze has the last laugh. You can see here Maria ducks away, not looking, and gives Blaze just the opportunity she needs. Well, Blaze's day is not done yet. She's going to try to make short work of Trish Tillotson now. Trish comes blazing in here. Ooh. That's the closest shot that we've seen in some time by the crossbow. Ooh, another close one. <laughs> Doing the kangaroo hop from safe zone to safe zone. Again, Trish working against the clock. You can see it there. 22 seconds remain. I tell you, she hasn't hit the target yet, but she's had a great run. She's got a real chance to pick this thing off here. Right down to the wire. She makes it through, picking up four points in the process. Chris, I called it this morning in the joust. I saw the fire in the eye. You're a competitor. You never say die. No, sir. I'm not going to ever say die. I may come out winner or loser, but I'll never die in the middle. <laughs> I know you do well in the eliminator, too. So good luck. It's going to be a close finish. Good job, Kim. So with her four points in assault, Trish chips away at the lead Maria has after six events. Who will emerge as champion? All will be told in the Eliminator. Jared here with some hard-hitting little leaguers. You know there are over 12 million overweight kids in this country. But exercise and eating right can help. Which is why Subway Restaurants has the delicious new Subway Fresh Fit Meals. They fit into the American Heart Association's approach to a healthy lifestyle. Subway! Eat fresh. The Philips Norelco Smart Touch XL adjusts to your face for a closer shave with 50% more shaving surface and three shaving rings in each shaving head. Philips Norelco, the world's best-selling electric shaver. Simplicity is making every stroke count. From a guy's perspective, it's very difficult to kind of verbalize some things. It's very difficult to sit down and describe yourself in, you know, three to four sentences. Dating sites give you a picture and a paragraph. At eHarmony, we do the matching for you based on 29 proven dimensions of compatibility. You tell them about you, and that's all you have to do. Get matched with other singles pre-screened for compatibility with you. If you're honest with yourself and you're honest with the process, then you're going to find the person you're supposed to find. eHarmony.com. Log on today. Hello? Hey, Mom, guess where I am? Where? In Vegas with Mike. My mom. Just drove here on a whim. City of Lights. <laughs> Promise me you won't come back married, OK? Jen, you're not getting married, are you? Jennifer? Jennifer, don't make the same mistake I made. Singular's name is now AT&T. Now get half off all Samsung phones. If you could travel like this, 
for the same price as this. Why wouldn't you? It's the same with auto insurance. With discounts up to 40%, it's possible to get the personal service of a State Farm agent for the same or less than those other guys. Call an agent 24-7 or visit statefarm.com. School's out. Now I can do whatever I want. I could become a famous movie director or a famous movie editor. Or I could record a retro style hit and burn CDs for all my fans. I could become the hottest house DJ in town. Or I could just take everything with me on a pocket media drive and hit the road to, you know, find myself. It's time for a new HP computer. Personalized desktops start at $329.99 and notebooks at $499.99. HP, the computer is personal again. Can you find the missing link? ESPN Classic's new series connects the biggest icons in sports. One overcame racism, the other embraced the missing link. Wednesdays at 10 on ESPN Classic. Every weekend, ESPN Classic picks one sport. I don't believe it! And gives you a full day of classic action. This weekend, it's a Texas Hold'em Billiards Marathon. Sunday at 2, only on ESPN Classic. Welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood for this last event in our women's final, The Eliminator. Mike, both contenders start at the treadmill and must run against the belts in an effort to reach the top. Once there, each contender crosses a 30-foot span by means of a specially designed hand bike. Then across the balance beam, where the gladiators throw weighted blocking pads at the contenders. But now the real fun begins. Both contenders have to scramble up that 20-foot cargo net and then a crazy ride down a zip line which carries the contenders across the entire length of the arena floor. Once there, it's a final straightaway where both contenders will have to clear a set of hurdles and then make an important choice. Which door to pick? Behind three of those doors, our American gladiators all determined to stop the contenders from crossing the finish line. And now Maria leads by 12 points coming into our final event, meaning that Trish will have to win by six seconds in order to advance to our grand championship. The women have 75 seconds to complete the course, with each second on the clock worth two points. Also, keep in mind, any fall will result in penalty points. Winner will pocket $10,000. Loser goes home with five grand. Korea in the red, Trisha the blue. The evenly matched contenders. Well, look at Maria, just grit her teeth and struggle her way across in that hand bike. Both women still alive. They've made it to the cargo net. Maria gets to the top first, and now for a breezy ride, the fun part. Only a gladiator can stop her now. Maria crosses the finish line first. With no penalties in sight, so she will automatically win this final over Trish Tillotson. Maria finishes in 54 seconds, Trish in 56. A very close race, but just not enough time for Trish. Through seven events, Maria Nishting and Trish Tillotson expended every ounce of energy they had. It came down to the Eliminator final. Trish, you needed to win by six seconds. You couldn't pull it off, but you have nothing to be ashamed of. Well, thanks a lot. I hope not. I did my best, and I had fun. Trish, besides the bumps and bruises, what kind of memories are you going to take home with you? You know, win or lose, it's been a great experience. And that stays with you for the rest of your life. And it's just been an honor and a pleasure. Well, Trish, it's been our honor as well. And I think the people of Wichita, Kansas, have a lot to be proud of. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Cincinnati kid. Yes! And we talked about the one thing that the driving force that makes you so good, that natural sense of a positive aggressiveness. It came to play here, didn't it? I always think positively. I'm always thinking about it, no matter what it is. Well, Maria, guess what? You're going on to the yes! championship final. Congratulations. Oh, what a job. Enjoy the moment. Thank you, I am. And $10,000. Yes! No! There we go. 10,000 big ones. Congratulations to Maria Nicktine, who we'll see again in our grand championship. Over in our men's final, Rico leads John by 17 points, giving Rico an eight and a half second cushion in this eliminator round. 
Now in our men's eliminator, they have only 60 seconds to complete the course, but neither John Adams nor Rico Costantino have needed anywhere near that time to finish. This should be a great run. And Rico wastes no time demonstrating that upper body strength. Made short work of the hand bike. John pumping hard too, but he slipped, and Rico oh. takes a real wallop from that blocky pad. Rico looking a little woozy after that hit to the head by the blocking pad. And John has now taken the lead, but keep in mind he was assessed five penalty points after he fell from the hand bike. Two competitors have been neck and neck, head to head, with some of the best competition we've ever had here on American Gladiators. And as they went through the events during the course of the day, so they did through the Eliminator. It came down to where there was an eight and a half second obstacle for John to overcome. John, you fell a little bit short of it. Just a matter of a second or two. <laughs> All day you have been a few points shy. You come back in hard. I got to say that that must certainly be attributable to your experience in martial arts, the way you just, you never say die. Oh, absolutely. In an event like this, uh, to uh, do the gladiators and other contenders justice, you got to give it your all. Absolutely. John, you did a fine job. You walk away with $5,000 in second place. Congratulations. All right, John. We talked about it early this morning from your childhood when you went to military school, had a, a couple, three guys who used to make a practice because you were only four foot 11 inches tall throwing you in the lake. Things have changed, haven't they, Rico? Yeah, I'd like to see them. Hey, guys, you want to go swimming? <laughs> Fine job. You've got 10,000 reasons to be very happy. You're going to walk home with a check for $10,000. And welcome to our finals and our championship finals soon to take place. All right, I can't wait. All right, good luck. All right. So congratulations to Rico and Maria, pride of Santa Ana and Cincinnati, and American Gladiators champions. ESPN Classics, Texas Hold'em Billiards Marathon, Sunday at 2 Eastern. ESPN Classic is opening up the boxing vault. Right. Oh, the right hand behind the champ. Now with rarely seen fights. Featuring some of the biggest names in boxing. Golden Boy De La Hoya. Real Deal Holyfield. Sweet P. Whitaker. From one classic knockout to the next. That's it. It's, it's all right. over. It's all over. Classic Night at the Fights. 8 p.m. weeknights. Only on ESPN Classic. Which is why we use the turn signal. All right. Who can tell Mr. Leffler why it's dangerous to go fast? The, the faster you go, the less control you have over your car. Very good, Mr. Edwards, which is why... Well, yeah, because last year at Charlotte, going about 175 off turn four, Casey got real sideways and just T-boned me right in the door. If I'd have backed it down to, say, 150, 140, he'd have missed me completely. T-boned you. Well done. The NASCAR Bush Series at Dover. Coverage begins Saturday at 2.30 on ESPN2. With the ESPN Total Access Visa card, you get closer to sports with every purchase. Here's the handoff. Oh, what a hit. Fumble. It's scooped up. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown. Yes. Call now for the ESPN Total Access Visa card to earn team jerseys, autographed collectibles, and unique sports experiences that you can only get from ESPN. Plus, earn tickets to games or create your ultimate fan experience with our exclusive ESPN Sports Concierge. All with no annual fee and 0% APR for six months on purchases and balances transferred now. Call or go online now to apply and get 2,500 points free the first time you use your card within one year the ESPN total access visa card you spend you score so congratulations to our champions Rico Costantino and Maria Nickting as well as our runners-up John Adams and Trish Tillotson stay tuned in the weeks ahead as we begin competition to determine who will challenge Rico and Maria for the honor of becoming American gladiators grand champion
up? Stuart Scott kicking it to you from the house that Schwab built, ESPN's research room for the latest installment of Stump the Schwab, the game show that pits ESPN's sharpest mind and roundest belly against three feisty up-and-comers who think they can hang on my boy here, the Schwab. Schwabby.